Hi, my name is Sam, and together with my colleagues at HotG, I want to introduce two new tools to you, Rune and Hammer. And together, these two tools will make it easy for you to deploy your TinyML models on real-world IoT devices. The IoT landscape is very fragmented, with a lot of different vendors selling all kinds of devices, and this makes it difficult to deploy your model on multiple devices. We propose to solve this using a containerization approach, where you package the model together with any additional code into a portable format that can be deployed on different platforms. We call this a Rune, and Rune can be seen as kind of a Docker image, but made specifically for TinyML applications. So Rune compiles your model together with any pre-processing or post-processing code into a single WebAssembly executable. So we use WebAssembly as a portable executable format. Um, and once this is built, you can then run this model on different, uh, different platforms. Um, just like a Docker image, a Rune is configured using a Rune file, a simple text file which lists uh, what sensor is needed, what preprocessing is required, what model is used, and where the output of the model should go to. Once you've written this file, you then use the, the Rune command line tool to build the, the executable, the WebAssembly, that you can then deploy on, on different devices. On the poster, we also show some benchmark results. So uh, we compare the overhead of, uh, of our model uh, with the, the execution time of, the, of a native application. We currently have an overhead of around 40 to 45 percent, but we are working very hard on, on reducing this and uh, we expect that in future releases this overhead will be, will be much lower. Once you've built a rune, you can then use our second tool, Hammer, to actually deploy it on a, on a device. So Hammer allows you to send the rune to a device, but it also allows you to test and to monitor the, the state and the health of, uh, of a running model on a certain device. We show some example usage on, on the poster. So on the left, we first list what devices are available in the network, and then we use the Hammer tool to send the rune to the, to the device and to start processing uh, sensor data. Both of these tools are released as open source software, so we really hope to build a community of users and developers to help us uh, extend this software and to really make it easy for you to take your models into production. Thank you very much for your attention. Um, please feel free to reach out to us if this is interesting to you or if you have any further questions. Thank you very much. You talk about the overhead of room. Could you explain what kind of overheads you have measured? Um, well, I don't know exactly what causes this overhead. Um, there will be, of course, always a little bit of overhead involved with, with virtualization. Um, but this whole idea of, of WebAssembly and, and WebAssembly runtimes is, is quite new. Um, but I believe that in, in Future, we we will be able to get uh, almost mm. native performance uh, with with. So so the so your all has mainly is related to the energy or related to the storage or related to the uh, computing execution time and um, and extra operations that are needed to uh, mm. to transform everything into WebAssembly. There's also a, a small memory overhead. Okay, because right. The, the overhead that we, we showed here on the poster was uh, in execution time. Okay. You, do you worry about any security issues? If I um, um, go to a place which is not, not intended, what do you know? It's going well, to be you safe. Don't actually on. see that this rune as a kind of a, an, a sandboxed environment. So, uh, that that has access to the to the sensors and um, and returns predictions to to the rest of the model. So in that case, I think um, our rune system can also be used as kind of an, a more security or uh, more mm -hmm. better security system than just actually. Actually, probably will help security, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Uh, again, just a quick uh, shout out to our sponsors. Bear with me for one minute. We have different categories. We have executive sponsors. First one being ARM. Then we have Qualcomm.
we have Samsung, Platinum Sponsors, Eda Compute, Lattice Semiconductor, Gold Sponsors, Brainchip, Babel Labs, DSP Group, Edge Impulse, Emza, Gray Matter Labs, Green Waves, Hymax, Imagimob, Latent AI, Maxim Integrated, Quixo, Reality AI, Sensi ML, Silicon Labs, Sentient, Google TensorFlow, Xmos, and lastly, Silver Sponsors, Edge Cortex, Pachi, and Synsense.